trying to decide on a paint scheme, each card is a small sample of related shades, allowing you to view the actual hues without prying off the lids of cans in paint shops. With thousands of shades to select, you'll be in the pink, or any other colour you choose for that matter. Whether you're looking for a gorgeous green or an OMG orange, careful scrutiny of paint chip cards can help you get it right before you pick up a brush. Highly concentrated colorants stored in tanks will be used to reproduce paint colors in lacquer, similar to the kind used in nail polish. Lacquer is used because it produces better results on paper than actual paint. The colorants are piped into a nozzle dispenser. At the same time, a bucket containing the lacquer moves to meet it. The dispenser has many tentacles, and each one is connected to one of the colorant tanks. A computerized mechanism holds the nozzles to dispense different colorants, following a precise color formula. The bucket sits on a scale, and the weight is constantly monitored by the computer to confirm that the exact amounts are being added. A blender mixes the colorants in the lacquer. The mixing speed and time have been preset to avoid over or under mixing. Now for the color test. A technician spreads the sample evenly across a piece of paper. A convection oven then dries the color. The technician compares the color and gloss to that of the standard. He also does a computer analysis and sends the formula back for tweaking where necessary. This worker pours the approved lacquer-based paints into cylindrical tanks above the coating machine. There are over two dozen of these tanks because they'll be putting that many colors on the swatch in one production run. He connects plastic tubing to the tanks to narrow the flow and aim it at the dye block below. Lacquer flows into a dye, coating the paper with an endless rainbow of colour. A bar overhead spreads the lacquer evenly without actually touching the paper. The paper then travels through an oven and the solvents evaporate, leaving a dried lacquer skin on the paper. If regular paint had been used, the paper would have absorbed it and ended up wavy. Rotary blades cut the coated paper into sheets, sized to fit printing machinery down the line. Using a transparent template, the next worker measures the width of each stripe. He then confirms that the colours are in the correct order by checking each stripe against the approved proofs. He checks the gloss with a gloss meter. It works by aiming a light on an angle and then registering the reflection. This confirms that the gloss is consistent and the production run can go ahead. The press operator stacks them face down for loading into the printer. A feeder serves up the stripe sheets to the printing line, one at a time. It's a four station printing press. Each cylinder is equipped with an ink of a different colour to stand out against the various paint card stripes. They print the paint colour names and numbers on both sides. They also apply varnish to the back of the sheets, so the paint chip cards won't stick to one another when they're stacked. Named and numbered, the colour stripes are now all identifiable. The sheets go under a guillotine blade, which slices them into paint chip cards. Powered by hydraulics and super sharp, the blades cut through hundreds of paper sheets like butter. They produce three and a half million paint chip cards a day at this factory. So if you can't think of a colour for your bathroom or your bedroom, just pop down to the paint shop and get them to lay their cards on the table. <laughs>